What's going on, y'all? I have no idea what she's doing in the floor in there. I'm cleaning the floor. What's up, buddy? What happened? You okay? You gonna make it? Ow! You're mean. Daddy! Well, he's feeling better. So I know y'all been waiting. I know y'all been wondering. Could today be the day that we finally tell you what's up? Today is the day. Now listen, I think some people on Facebook might have been a little shook because we did announce yesterday my nephew's having a baby. That wasn't Does the that announcement though. I posted it on all of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Daddy. TikTok. One person <laughs> out of thousands got it. You didn't, wait, you didn't say what you posted the question. Everybody knows what the question is. That's what the whole video is about. It's the announcement. <laughs> One person got it right. But I'm still not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you. We, we're we going to build up to this. I'll tell you what everybody thought it was, was baby number three. No, most people thought it was twins because I made a, a picture post saying the kids might as well be twins. And they're like, nope, that's it. They're having twins. No. <laughs> it's no baby. I'm sorry. No. Her tubes are tied. Now, we are. my nephew's having a baby. A boy, too. We found that out yesterday, too. Baba, are you excited to tell them what's going on? Are you excited to show him that you, this? He's gonna have a good time with this. Cece, are we about to tell him what the announcement is? <laughs> is it so exciting? Baby cat. Is it so exciting, Bubba? So I know we haven't told you guys because uh, it's been a minute since we've been back on the <laughs> But Colton and Chloe started gymnastics. Colton got strep throat, so I had to take him to the doctor last week. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Obviously, he's on the mend, so we'll be starting back at gymnastics this week, but maybe, I don't know, I'll have to ask about, is it okay to film and post in there? Because there's other people's children there, but they love it, you guys. They, I mean, they have a ball. It's like their element. Gymnastics is their thing because they get to run around, jump, flip, fly. <laughs> So that's been really fun too. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all, listen, winter time just is not my time. It's not little mama's time. I, neither one of us like winter. It's been a rough winter, you know. We had the sadness of just, you know, the year anniversary of my stepdad's passing and then my little cousin Dakota passed away. You know, we've had a lot of sadness during this winter and I don't know, it made it rough to film. One thing we do enjoy, we're spring, summer, and fall people, so. It's not bad to take a break every so often, to recharge, to get your spirits lifted again, to get your batteries just full topped off. And if you look back, we've always been spring, summer, fall, and then winter time, we're just like blah, because how much can you film in the house without it becoming Groundhog Day? Me, myself, I just, like the grocery haul type videos, I just, I don't know. But this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be exciting, and this will be something you can take part in if you want. So, let's uh, venture that way and we'll show y'all what's been going on. It literally figures it would start raining. I had to stop and pick up my temporary cameraman. He's gonna be helping us with this. And we got another guy, I don't know if y'all know Kentucky.life from TikTok, but he's gonna be the actual cameraman for us. Cause what we're about to announce is gonna take a cameraman, which means we're gonna have a lot of content for y'all. Like the new season starting back. You got a carlo! It's time to go, buddy! You ready to do this? Go, man! Whack it off, right? Right there? Yeah, right there. And we're open, son. Woo! Up there, we'll do the track back up this way. What? That's what I think. Just do a little tour, like. Do a little, do a little, just kind of walk around, check everything out. Yeah. Fucking on, fools. Y'all still don't even know what's going on, do you? Some of y'all may have recognized Donnie from the flood, some of the flood cleanup video. We've been working on something for a while. Yeah, we got some cleanup. Yeah, this is going to be one of the best spring, summer, and fall you've ever seen. And we want you to come be part of this. Oh, I am not. Hey, no way. No way. Not me. I'm just two-wheel drive. I ain't trying it. I'll leave it here.
<laughs> Yo, yes, we went in partners with Donnie on a racetrack. Mountain Motor Complex. Got a dirt track, got a drag strip. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I try to give you a little drone footage. But I don't know, the wind's blowing awful hard right now. Littles are already out here having fun. The beginning. Just the, the start. Of our lives, my boy. Just the start. Hey, Ain't it, it takes a spark. It takes a spark and passion, my man. You know what I mean? I love it, Sean. From hell or high water, son. It's gonna be sick, ain't it? Yeah, it is. It's gonna be it's sick. It's gonna be dude, great. What do you think about Jeremiah? Yeah, it got swamped from the flood a little bit. When I told y'all we had something planned that was big, I wasn't lying. When I tell you we're gonna be doing some racing, we're gonna be doing dirt track racing, we're gonna be doing motocross down here, demolition derby, monster trucks. We're actually gonna have our festival that we talked about for so long, the Hillbilly Games. We're gonna try to shoot hopefully for July. We gotta see how things go. But I'm like super serious about this, y'all. That's why I hired a cameraman. Cause my problem is I get distracted, I get carried away, I forget to film. I just lose so much content. But I got that boy to come. He's gonna follow us, he's gonna follow me, he's gonna follow Donnie. Donnie's starting his own channel with him and his daughter. He's gonna call it Daddy Daughter and Dirt Bikes. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. This wind is kicking down here. I'm afraid to get the drone out. That fencing's gotta go, man. I'm waiting for a piece to come through here like Dorothy out of Oz. What are you doing letting it on the ground? They supposed to let the flag on the ground. Well, we can't use that one. We'll have to get another, we'll have to get another one, so fold it up and bring it with you. Why can't we use it? Because that pole sucks. We gotta fix it. Oh, I was waiting. <laughs> See, this, is where, this is where the motocross track is going to be right here. So I'm going to take like this here. We'll see the, the, the dirt I'm going to use. It's already sitting here. So I'll put it down. That one's been up forever. And what happened was, when all that water was in here like a big, like a big bowl, they said it had too much pressure here. It popped like a damn guy was dropping it. It's not that thing. It blew it right there. Because it got shit in it. It was swamped. <laughs> Completely underwater. It, it was up for the cab lights on this one. Oh, look at this. I tried to buy Oh, these things will swamp during the flood. Look at this. It, it that is a floor. But I know it was. Yeah, the sediment. Every one of these got under. Oh, yeah, it was coming in the windows in this one. Lord, it be. The Mountain Dew didn't go nowhere, though. Van Deer took a beating. Yeah, this was up for a minute ago. Look at that. Is it, is it flooded? Hey, it's everything. You got them all. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> it's hard Killer as well. high water, man. Because you remember, man, this right here, was, it, the water in here stayed up mm -hmm. this deep, man, all the way over, man. And that's why it popped the, uh, that's why it popped the, the culvert. Drainage. That's why it popped the culvert. And I'm glad it was here, man, because if it wasn't for that, it wouldn't have popped it, dude. I can't wait to build my dirt bike track in here. This is two, I'm going to say this is two and a half to three times the size of what I had over there, ain't it? Easy, dude. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Look at this place, dude. This little PT loser. Oh my goodness. You know what? We get them running, we might have some cars to jump. Yeah, we got a little issue in turn two with water, but we're gonna trench it down this way, get it over back into the pond so we got water for the track. I think I'm gonna bring my Suburban down here to play with a little bit. Here's a part y'all ain't seen yet. Parking, you go back around this way, back behind that grandstand for the drag race and parking's all over through there. We're gonna have to make our own cotton candy, just call it the flood. The <laughs> flood, call it the flood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't eat, but don't get sick on it. 10-4. He knows what's up. This is gonna be sick, man. <laughs> He's ready to swing that flag. We got one, we got one. Woo! You like it? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, woo! <laughs> oh, they're loving it. They're ready. <laughs> this is all the seats. I know y'all can't see real good because this camera ain't great for low lighting, but all the bleachers and everything's on each one of these benches going up through here. So you got a perfect shot of the boom. 
See, I don't get where some of you guys was like, it's a baby, it's a baby. I told you, this is something you can get involved in. <laughs> Little mama's had her tubes tied. This is what we're doing. We're doing a racetrack, guys. We, we want to do something fun for our community. Like our community reeled from that flood and we're still trying to rebuild. And all it'll take is a spark to bring some people here. And then other small businesses will be like, they'll, they'll take notice and then they'll put restaurants and shops and more things will come. We're going to do something with this. We're going to have some fun. That looks good, don't it? Well, we got a lot of work to do, but I think we'll do it pretty quick. It won't take long to get this fired up and going. Pop a wheelie, pop a wheelie. Pop a wheelie, come out there. Yes. <laughs> I hear that song, I've seen better days. Been the star of Look at many that plays. Look at that the lizard wagon. You got stuck, let you go. I was not about to take my trip through where it's two wheel drive. Cece. Bubba. Hi. We have been jamming out to Credence Clearwater. You've been <laughs> jamming out. Yeah, we have. Look how sweaty she is. Me, me, look at your curly hair. What's this? Hey, Chloe. Skid a marink a dink a dink, skid a marink a do. Oh. You're not gonna do it? Sing, sissy. And she's exhausted. <laughs> she's been dancing for 30 minutes. Are you wore out, bud? You look like you about to fall asleep, bud. No. <laughs> you're not? So listen, since they already know the announcement now, can we please, y'all, this is like, this is my heart of all this, okay? The Hillbilly Games this summer. We're gonna have an event coming this summer. Of just like Hillbilly Games. Y'all, I've got these big chicken balls on order. Okay, they're balls about this big. And you sit on it and you hold this thing and it's got a big rooster head and we're gonna bounce and have everybody go through an obstacle course. But can you imagine the laughter that's going to come with that. Like my heart, that is my heart's desire this summer. Out of all the games coming for the event this summer, that one's it, the chicken ball race. I we just call wait. it the chicken race. That's what we call it, race. the chicken race. Chicken ball We're race. going to listen, pepper eating contest. Like this is going to be an old school festival type event. You Prize know, we'll... money will be won, prizes. <laughs> oh, she does not like her daddy But the chicken her ball mommy. race, y'all come out like you would be laughing your hind and off. Like this is stuff you guys are going to be involved with, if you, you know, because I hear all the time you guys should do meet and greets and we're just not that kind now of. Now we can We're going to be there all. every weekend yeah like every weekend we're going to be at this track one weekend it may be dirt track next weekend it may be test and tune at the drag strip could be motocross could be uh, motocross freestyles monster trucks like there's so much like the sky side by is sides. The limit. yeah we're talking about doing side by side drag races and i know a lot of you guys are 30 minutes an hour away it's just in Isom, Kentucky. Well, now listen, there is a campground like six miles from the track. It's got a lake. It's, you know, a small lake in Kentucky, but it's got a campground. There's, a, I don't know, is it still full? I ain't sure about that, but like. There is a fully functioning campground. Also, there's bed and breakfast you can rent around here, you yeah. know, on like Airbnb or whatever. So if you got to drive a distance, you know. But if you guys do that with your family travel to do the races and stuff with your kids and for your kids, there is a local campground and there's a lake and it's gorgeous. I know y'all missed us, but we knew the work that was coming and we just took a season. We took some time to spend some time together to recoup, recover. This is nothing new for no, winter it's not. time for us. Spring, summer, and fall is our content time and winter. <laughs> winter we just kind of because you know it's right now with two littles we're at home a lot in the winter time so but it's almost that time ain't it Cece? it's almost that time ain't it yeah say the flowers are already up which is odd the frogs yeah. are already out there <coughs> making noise tell them hi bud hi hi <laughs> so we missed you guys I miss you oh he's so cute Bubba can you say I miss you <laughs> Oh, good you. job. Yay. Yay. But the chicken ball race, y'all, I can't get over it. I've got to order. i got to figure out, like, do a, a low ball number of how many people or a high ball number. Might want to do that. So, i got to get these things ordered and get them. <laughs> We're going to do car shows, too. Maybe concerts. We've been... You know, this is something we plan on doing for the next few years, and we're just going to build on it year by year by year. <laughs> nice can, to be home. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, you miss me? Mm. 
Oh, so cute. And she's a daddy's girl. Whoa. Whoa. Are Whoa. you even dancing? So oh, wait till you get to run, get out and run in the yes, mud. Daddy's like, Ow. Have you ever <laughs> seen oh, my goodness. the rain? I don't know she how was... this is here. You're going to have to take over. I can't do Chloe, it. Chloe, it was so funny. We were excited. So we decided to jam out by ourselves, me and the kids. But yeah, she was know. saying, CCR, have you ever seen Wayne? It was so cute. She was jamming out. Her and Colton Whoa. was... Whoa. Almost headbanging for a minute. I was like, where did this come from? They learned that from me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they was running into the couches, and, like, Chloe was, she was going wild. I had never seen her do those kind of dance She's going wild. She hasn't stopped. It don't seem like it. That's because she's not had a nap. You just think she's, she's your daddy. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Cece. She wait, got wait, so wait. worked up while she was going. Get in her Get in my rink a do. I love you. <laughs> I can tell she ain't seen me in a minute. <laughs> she needs some daddy teaching. <laughs> yeah. Daddy. He's ready to go to bed. I can tell. Um, daddy. it's seven o'clock. Yeah, they get my kids oh, go to God. bed, y'all, now at seven thirty. Colton just won't hardly nap. Once a blue moon, he'll want to take a nap during the day, but he's past the napping now, almost. And even if he does nap, it's for like 15 minutes, but he's over it, so he's an early bird now. Like 7.30, he's done, which is fine, because that gives mama a little time. I still go to bed at like 9.30, but it does give me a little time. What you doing? Little house on the prairie. Baby, are you sleepy, honey? I know. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm a state. This is just the beginning of so much more to come. I made the post on Facebook and, you know, TikTok and Instagram of what we were doing, how we're starting up the track. And some people are concerned that the family content's going to go away, and that's the furthest from the truth. Guys, can y'all not imagine Colton and Chloe down there drag racing on power wheels or riding power wheels around the track? playing like there's tons of stuff that the kids can do down there we're going to teach them to ride bicycles down there because you know during the week a lot of the work won't be done in certain places and we can have the kids there they can run around as you see donnie's kids and uh nieces and nephews is all down there like this is going to be a great thing for the kids it's going to be a family environment you know i've also said multiple times i want to do i even said it in this video i want to help my community in any way possible and if it's to spark the local economy my baby bringing some people here maybe some people that have had a dream of opening a restaurant will be able to do that or somebody wants to open a store or some kind of tourist attraction but people have to get here first and that's up to you guys we're going to provide something fun for you to do whether it's maybe to come watch a motocross race or a a dirt track race or whether it be we have monster trucks and you guys come in to watch monster trucks like i'm gonna on our facebook i'm gonna go through once we make our schedule and everything and i'm gonna fill out the events tab so if you follow us on facebook you'll be able to go there also on the community feed here i'll post updates but guys we're not going nowhere we're actually coming back more than ever because i'm getting up in the morning going to film another video meg's going to vlog with the kids bring the kids down we're going to have fun this summer and we really want you to be a part and we enjoy having you here with us and guys this is just the beginning of so much more to come but we love y'all and until the next time stay positive stay country and stay true to your roots love you guys